Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. In this week we're going to take a look at uh, a profile that we can set up in Profile Manager for mobile accounts. Now what mobile can, accounts are designed to do, or the mobility service that's built into Profile Manager, is to set up the ability for network users uh, who might have portable devices to be able to take their home folders with them when they go outside the network work on their machines and have them sync when they come back into the network. So for instance, if you have a user that has their home folder on the server, uh, when that user takes their laps laptop outside your network, then they no longer have access to their home folders, making their laptop useless. And so what this would do is allow you to sync uh, all that information to the home folders on the actual local Mac. It will also sync it with the server, so you've got a copy in both places. So that when the user leaves the network, he can work on his computer, make changes. When he comes back into the network, those changes will sync back to the server, and it'll keep both of them in sync. And so that's what that's designed for. So if you remember in a previous screencast, uh, we talked about uh, setting up uh, home folders. Uh, we talked about the different users and things. And we talked about uh, setting those up here in our uh, users profile. So let me just uh, set this up. Remember we had home folders on the server and we had selected before where to put those. And so instead of local only, we have the home folders sitting on the server. And so I'm going to show you how you can set it up so that the users then uh, can, like I said, have those things sync. So let me just cancel this for a minute and let's go back here. So the first thing we need to do is actually open Profile Manager and set up the profile so that uh, mobility is set and ready to go. So let me just pull up Profile Manager here. And I'm just going to show you uh, right here using this account here uh, for my son. So let's go ahead and edit this profile. So in order to set up uh, mobile accounts, you want to come down here to OS 10 because uh, it is an OS 10 only option. It doesn't work for iOS devices, obviously. And so mobility is right here. Now you can configure this here in Profile Manager, which is the preferred method uh, for where Apple's going. Uh, or you could download Workgroup Manager and configure it that way. And that usually works for uh, older Macs that maybe don't get profiles uh, the way that we do with the modern Macs. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how to configure it here with the Profile and Profile Manager uh, and set it up that way as opposed to Workgroup Manager. If you want to see how that works, uh, you could basically look at the screencast that I did on uh, Mountain Lion Server and that'll show you how to set that up with Workgroup Manager. So we're going to come in here and say Configure. Uh, for the user that we want this to happen for. And you can see it has three tabs here that we have to set up, account creation, account expiry, and rules. So let's start with the account creation for a minute. Now we can set how we want the account to be created, uh, assuming they don't have it created yet. Now in this case, uh, this individual does have their home folders already existing on the server, um, but you can set up different things. You can create a mobile account when they log into the network. Uh, you can require confirmation before creating the mobile account, so they confirm that that happens. Or you can show Don't Ask Me Again uh, checkbox as well. So uh, you can do it one, uh, one of three ways. This automatically creates it when they log in. This one you know, will, it will require some confirmation before they do it, and then it'll give them a Don't Ask Me Again checkbox so that that message doesn't show up again. So I'm going to say create uh, this mobile account when the user logs into the network. And, uh, you know, we could, we could require some confirmation before creating it. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and just do that. Let's say let's require that uh, before creating the mobile account. And then we'll allow a don't show me again checkbox just so we can see how all of that works. Now, you can create the home using uh, a local home template or a network home and default sync settings. And so, again, this would be where a network home that's uh, already sitting on the server. This would be a local home uh, that was a template that was there. And so what we're going to do is say, we'll say just a network home and do it that way. Uh, you can choose to uh, encrypt the contents with File Vault. So if you wanted to set it up to be encrypted, you could do that right here, and that would require it to be that way. And then you could restrict the size uh, of it as well uh, once it does the encryption. And then you can say, where is the home folder located? Is it on the startup volume? Is it at a certain path? Uh, the user chooses where it goes. The user chooses an internal or an external uh, volume. And uh, we actually have it uh, at a path, and that is actually on the server. So we're going to want to put the server path uh, in there. Now, since we already have a path set up, let me just show you how you find that. Let's just uh, let's put this down for a second. Uh, we can find that path just by coming into file sharing here, going to where these home folders are, and just double click on it. It'll give you an idea of the path up here of where it's at. Now, because we created a home folder, we got to make sure that it's the one for the user uh, that I'm trying to set up. 
So let me just go into the finder here. And so basically, just like it said, documents, home folders, and then basically it'll be the short name here that you'll set up for these different home folders that are sitting there. And so since you can see already, those are already on the server, so we're ready to go. That's what I want to set up. Okay, so let's, uh, let's shut this down and go back here. Now let's cancel this. Okay, so let's go back into Profile, uh, profile Manager. So what we want to do is set that up. So we're going to come in here, and let me just put that info in. Okay, so there, uh, so there we are. I put that information in there already. So we've got the path all set up, so that's fine. So that takes care of the account creation. Now let's go to Account Expiry. Now we can say when to delete mobile accounts. So you can actually set mobile accounts to be uh, you know, time sensitive. So that basically, maybe it's just used for a while. So you want it for so many hours for it to happen after the user's last login. And you can, so, or you can say delete only after a successful sync. So once the sync happens, then you delete the information. And so that way you're not necessarily keeping it on the server all the time. You're just you know, going back and forth. So it's up to you how you want to do that. I'm going to leave it alone. I don't want to delete it. Now I've got rules that I can set up for how this works. And so I can do a preference sync. Uh, a home sync and other options. Okay, the preference sync is just for the various preferences and when I want them to sync. And so I can have it sync at login and at log out in the background and manually. Now, basically, this just gives you options across the board. So what this says is it says when I log in, it's going to trigger a sync. When I log out, it's going to trigger a sync. Now, also, it's going to happen in the background, so I'm not going to see it's not going to see it happen. It's just going to happen in the background, and I can also trigger a manual sync if I want to. So, by having all of those checked, it gives me more options. I can uncheck the things that I don't want to see or I don't want to have happen. Now, you've got sync folders here, and these are basically the preferences that sync. Uh, for sure. You can add more if you want to or get rid of ones you don't want. And then down below there are items here that are automatically put in to skip. Things that you, it's, it doesn't think you need to sync. And so you can say you can sync the full, uh, skip the full path if the name is, is something, if it contains. So you can really fine tune what gets, uh, what, what's a part of the sync and what's not a part of the sync uh, just by going through here. Now, I'm just going to leave the defaults in this case. So let's look at home sync. Now in the home sync area, again notice the same sync rules up here. Sync folders, it's going to sync the uh, home files with these folders will sync. So this is again the root, this is the home folder right there that's going to sync. And it's going to skip this information right here in that sync. And then I can check to merge it with the user settings if I want to. So whatever their existing settings are, I can merge that together. I'm going to leave it because I don't have any settings to merge. Uh, but you could check that if you wanted to. And then I've got other options over here. Sync in the background manually every five minutes. Uh, and then I can say show status in the menu bar. And so I'm going to check that because that's helpful to have that information in the menu bar. So as you can see, we got everything set up and ready to go with this payload. We're going to say OK. And so you'll notice now it says mobility on here. It's added that onto his account so it knows that that's going to happen. And so we're going to say save. So now it's saved that information. Now you'll notice if I go over to active tasks, you can see I've got one active task in process uh, that, uh, that is pending right now. You can see this one right here is, is for another a device that's pending. And you can see you got completed tasks here as well, things that we've done before. Now, right now, it's, it's not showing up because that, that mobile account is not going to happen until we actually log in with the user. So let me just show you how to do that. I'm going to go to a screen share, and let me show you what it looks like on that side. Okay, here I am over on a screen share, and so we're going to log in. We're going to click Other so we get the network account login, and let me just put in his information. Okay, and now we're just going to click uh, hit Enter uh, to start the login. So we're going to log him into his network account uh, at this login screen. And so it could take a little bit of time to launch that, and there we go. Now we're inside uh, his network account, and we've got this set up. Now, to get this started uh, and get this uh, going, what we want to do is go to System Preferences. So let me just uh, load System Preferences here. And we're going to go to Users and Groups. And you notice right here, we're going to, um, let me just get uh, Authenticate here. Let's do that real quick. Say Unlock. Okay, now we've unlocked it with an administrator password. And you'll notice it has Mobile Account Create right here. That's just been added. That wasn't there until we pushed the profile. So we're going to say Create on this and basically it's going to give me uh, some options. It's going to ask me where I want to create the home folder because remember I said we were going to actually create a home folder uh, on the uh, on the startup disk uh, to make that work so that that'll actually live on the laptop uh, as well as on the server. Uh, we can set our sync settings on how we want it to sync automatically or every so often or manually. 
Uh, again, we've got it at logout and login, just like we set up originally. And it's going to be the home folder, or I can say only selected folders uh, from down here. And then again, the show status and status menu. You notice when I check that, the little homes come up at the top. So we're going to go ahead and sync that whole home folder. We're going to say create. And so now it's going to create the mobile account. And it says click create to log out and create a local home folder that stays in sync with your network home folder. Then you can log into your computer even when it's off the network. And so we're just going to say create to do that. And so now it's going to log us out. And now we have to enter uh, the password that we use to create the mobile account. So let me enter that right now. And we're going to click OK. And so now it's going to actually create that mobile account. And so I may lose uh, connection here for a minute as it's, as it's doing that, creating it. Uh, but it'll eventually take me back to the uh, login screen here to be able to make that account happen. So I'm going to let it run for a while, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here we are back at the login screen. And you'll notice now it's added this actual user because now they actually have an account uh, sitting on the server. So if I just uh, click on him here, just put in his password, and hit Enter. And it's going to log him into his account. You notice right away you can see that the home sync is starting right now. So it's starting to sync everything to make sure that everything is in line. And remember, I said I had set it up to sync at login as well as log out. So you'll also see this screen at log out as well um, when he logs off this computer. But it's going to do the sync, so it's putting that information from the server on there, making sure everything's good, finishing it up. And then it's going to let him log in. And so it'll take a minute here. And there we are. Now we're logged in. Everything's good. And let me just shut this down. And you'll notice I got the little homes up here, and everything's fine. And it tells me when the last sync was uh, today, and I can sync it now. And I can also go to the preferences if I want to to make any changes that I want to make. So that's all we have for uh, this week. Hopefully that helps you get started with uh, mobile accounts and uh, get those set up uh, for those that have laptops on your network that you want to keep in sync. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.